Hey guys, what's up? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with uh, an all new ROM flashing series for uh, the Leo HD2 by HTC. Um, I've had this phone for a while and I just recently decided to pull it back out of the box and start playing with it, making some videos for you guys in the HD2 forums. Uh, a lot of my work is credited directly to Android and Captivate right now, but I'm looking to expand that. Uh, to the HD2, the Atrix, and the Samsung Infuse, and a lot of the other new devices coming out. So I decided to go ahead and cover this as well. So this is ROM flashing for the uh, HTC HD2. Uh, we're working with uh, the T8585 today. It's the overseas version of the HD2. Um, but this will apply for the uh, 9193 as well, which is the US uh, version uh, available for T-Mobile. So let's go ahead and get involved and give a few basics about the device itself. So if we turn on here, we can slide to unlock and uh, let's go ahead and see what we got going. We got the uh, the original phone right here running in uh, out of the box worldwide English mode. So we got nothing going on much there. Uh, if we go into settings and about phone, we can further verify that this is the original ROM. Let's see. We've got software information, and we can see that we're running 3.14.4052 Worldwide English, uh, and the radio is 215.5014, and the protocol obviously at the bottom. Uh, we can see all those numbers relate to a, a stock ROM, so you can see that we're running purely stock out of the box ROM here, uh, just, just to give you a, a heads up. Um, this particular tutorial is going to be uh, given on a Windows 7 64-bit computer. This should apply for Vista and Windows 7 directly. Uh, the only difference between Vista and Windows 7 versus uh, XP would be that XP uses Microsoft ActiveSync in, ex in, uh, in exchange for the, uh, the Windows Mobile Device Center that is offered for uh, Vista and Windows 7. So you need to go ahead and uh, make sure that you've got your drivers and your phone set up correctly and that you're seeing this before we go any further. So this is Windows 7. Uh, we've loaded our Windows Mobile Device Center uh, on pretty much any computer. You can click Start All Programs and it should be up here at the top before any folders. So we can see that we've got Windows Mobile Device Center there. We clicked it. There was a small initial setup and we got that set up, plugged our phone in and uh, obviously when you plug your phone in you want to uh, select Active Sync as your option. So right there we see we've got Active Sync and we want to say done. And when we do that, it's going to initially install some drivers. So be sure you have an internet connection because that's normally how it grabs the drivers. And we can see that we've picked up our phone. So that's kind of a, a prerequisite. You've really got to get that down. I'm not going to go into elaboration on how to do all that because if you're ready to flash ROM, you should pretty much know how to set up Windows Mobile Device Center or Microsoft ActiveSync. So I'll give you the links uh, for ActiveSync below. Device Center comes on all the uh, Windows 7 versions out of the box anyway. So once we've done that, the next step we need to do is flash a custom SPL, uh, that meaning second program loader. It boots after the IPL, which is the initial program loader, and SPL is flashable, so think of it kind of like a BIOS. And um, it's what's going to allow us to install a custom ROM. So we have to have that as the original SPL is not going to let us do anything. So uh, I'm going to link you with uh, Hard SPL uh, version 3. It should work just fine for any of the HD2s. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and load that. We've got the, the RAR package right, or the zip package right here. We're using WinWAR uh, free version. You can use whatever uh, zip opener you would like. And we're going to open it up, and we can run it directly from within the package in WinRAR. So we're going to double-click it. And we've got our phone plugged in, our ActiveSync, or Windows Mobile Device Center, is up and running, and the phone's recognized. So we're going to go ahead and double-click this, and we're going to get this screen here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there. Okay. And uh, we're going to see, uh, warning, read this text carefully before you continue, blah, 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 blah. And you can read through it if you'd like. For us, we're just going to go ahead and click next. Don't touch the device. You'll notice that the phone is going to reboot into the uh, SPL, and you'll see Kotola HSPL. You'll see the uh, multicolored screen, and we got this action going on on the computer side. So we're going to wait it out and allow this to flash hard SPL. And we'll show you how to verify that it, it flashed correctly. Normally, it'll, it'll get a 
a finished dialog box here pretty soon. I wanted to note, I know there's a couple of installs, uh, install videos like this. Uh, obviously my channel tailors to custom videos like this, so I wanted to go ahead and give my mobiletechvideos.com version of this. Alright, so now we get prompted with the version that we'd like to install. Uh, we're just going to choose HSPL. There's only two options there, so 2.08 HSPL. Say next. It's going to flash it. Successfully done. So, I'm going to say OK. The phone's going to reboot. And now, if we get the red lines at the bottom, you'll see that we've updated uh, the SPL. That info is actually not on these three lines. It's actually uh, within that screen that we were just in, so I apologize for that. Those bottom lines are ROM version, radio version, and protocol version. So we're going to say OK on that, close our RAR package. We'll go back out for a split second. And obviously the phone boots back up, Windows Mobile Device Center boots back up. And we'll let that slide. Okay, now we're about to get ready to flash our ROM of choice. Today we are working with the Energy ROM build 29007. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with the uh, Denic glass look from Energy ROM. I'm going to link you to the thread. There's a ton of different themes and choices, and you can read up on which one you'd like based on performance and aesthetic uh, looks. Uh, we're going with the uh, Denic glass, uh, as we just stated, with the uh, Cookie Mod 2.0. And uh, you can read up a lot more on what all the ROM versions mean, what they offer. There's a ton of authors. This is going to cover uh, basically any uh, flashing for the HD2. So the phone has now booted back up, so we can see all that. Um, so obviously everything is just the same. We're not going to notice any differences. But now we flashed hard SPL uh, 2.08 with uh, the HSPL3. So like I said, that's a second pro program loader. It's going to allow us to flash the custom ROM. So once you have grabbed and downloaded the custom ROM that you would like, uh, there's download links all over the page. Make sure you get your language, your build number. We're using, uh, like I said, 29007. Uh, that is the latest cutting technology from uh, the Windows builds. It's got a few different options. It's supposedly less stable, but at this point in the game, those builds have been out for long enough that they're pretty much stable anyway. And uh, as NRG says, uh, you know, why would you flash a custom ROM without trying the uh, the latest and greatest stuff? So that's the way we're going to do it. So we've got the, uh, the Energy uh, Zip package right here. Uh, he's used 7-Zip to zip it, but once again we're using WinRAR to open it. So we'll double click it. And we'll see the Leo Software Upgrade uh, EXE as well as the Leo IMG NBH. Now the, the Upgrade.exe is simply a program that's going to allow us to load uh, the NBH file, which is the actual ROM file. Then you'll notice that in the file sizes here, we can see how much larger that the uh, the NBH is at 184 megs versus uh, versus about half a meg for the actual executable that's going to install it. So once the phone's back up, make sure it's still plugged in. Uh, you can also double check by going into uh, the mobile device manager. Make sure it's all plugged in and good to go. One thing I wanted to note before we start this, you need to make sure that you have at least 50% of battery life or the process will not allow you to continue. Also, this will wipe your device. You're going to lose text messages, applications, contacts, anything that's not stored on a server and is completely stored on the phone, you're going to lose. You need to back that stuff up. So plug your phone in, uh, select disk drive, uh, or if it's active sync, you can actually just plug it in. And uh, under computer, we can see that we've got the device down here at the bottom, and you can see a lot of the stuff that you're going to need to back up. So you can pull that stuff off. You can use a program uh, such as a PMI backup or P PIM backup. I'll link you to that program, and that'll do a lot of the backups that you need. But make sure that you're not going to lose anything that you couldn't live without. So do that at this time, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys, and we'll go to the next step. Alright, now that you've backed up anything that you need with uh, your backup application of choice, I'm going to leave that research up to you guys. Uh, like I said, uh, I listed PIM backup, there's Sprite backup, there's a ton of different backup applications. Just pick one that's going to back up the things you need. Don't worry about every little thing. You know, maybe grab your pictures, music, contacts, and maybe some text messages, and that's about it. 
Uh, so back in the package, we're going to launch the Leo Software Upgrade EXE, and with WinRAR and Windows 7, we're able to do this directly from the uh, the package itself, so we don't actually have to extract that, which is that's actually what's going on right here. It's extracting it for us. So we're going to allow that to happen at 50%. Almost done. Okay. So that has extracted. We're going to get some warnings and blah, 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 blah. We're going to say next. We're going to say next. Make sure that your phone verifies for the four steps. And let me zoom in on this just a hair. Sorry if you can't see it. Okay, and we're going to show our current image version, and we'll get a button that says update, click update, and it'll show what we're going to, and this is the way uh, Energy uh, has always uh, listed his ROMs. We've always got ROM version and then the date. So we're going to run the uh, January 16th, 2011 version, which has just been released. So we'll say next, and now we're going to say flash, and we need to make sure that we don't unplug the phone. Uh, preferably power up your laptop if you're doing this from a laptop or make sure whatever you're flashing from has a full battery because if this dies you could end up with a bricked bootloader and some extra issues and you don't want to do that so go ahead and click flash once you've verified all that and the phone itself is going to actually turn off back into the hard SPL you're going to get this for a sec and if this is your first time doing this the computer may actually uh, pull up a different driver so allow that to happen and eventually we're going to start seeing uh, some percentage go across so we got one percent two percent three percent and let me turn off my motion sensitive junk on the phone I mean on the uh, camera I ah, forget it yeah. okay so we got twenty percent twenty one percent with that nice HTC background so we're gonna let that load up and finish so I'm gonna allow that to finish and I'll catch back up with you guys as soon as it's done okay we're about at ninety two percent now so we're going to see what's what's about to happen and now that that's about to occur I'm gonna zoom out just a hair show you the phone again so at 100%, the process is about to complete. And this is so much faster on the Snapdragon processor. I used to uh, be an energy addict uh, back in the day with my uh, Touch Pro 1. And it took twice as long because I had half the power. So right away you'll notice that the, uh, the, uh, the new SPL screen is, is really cool. Uh, you've got the Energize with the NRG background. And that's really nice. We've got a finish dialog on the box on the computer, so we, we said finish and close the package. We're going to have one additional step after it boots up, and that's going to be setting up the radio that's preferred for this ROM. Most developers are going to recommend a radio, and I'll show you how to flash that. It's pretty much the same thing as flashing the uh, SPL and the ROM. So we've got our new energy for the red down there at the bottom. So we've got that, so we can see that we flash correctly. Now, this can take another 60 seconds to boot, so it's the first boot, it's going to take a little bit. And we're going to see all the, uh, the original out-of-the-box information. We're going to allow this to finish, so go ahead and set up your uh, SIM card. You're going to get opted for that uh, according to what network you have, maybe the wireless networks and some other initial setups. So allow your phone to finish setting up, and we'll catch up with you at the next step and show you how to do the radio. Okay, once the phone's booted up, we can see our new interface. It's absolutely cool. Uh, we've got our glassy theme. We've got extra buttons for Sense. Uh, we've got the big buttons at the bottom, which is uh, the newest stuff from uh, Microsoft. We've got our program folders with nice icons, glassy look there. You're going to have a ton of fun with this interface. You've got left to right scrolling action. You can add a widget. Tons of stuff you can do. And this is just one of the many examples from developers on XDA using the Energy ROM. But uh, so that's that's the interface. We've got one step left uh, now with this particular ROM, and you need to read uh, the threads on each and every ROM you do. We've got a uh, a radio that's recommended to flash. Now, if you're a T-Mobile user, uh, almost every developer says don't worry about this step. However, if you're using the Telstra version, which is the 8585 that we have here, uh, you'll want to do this step. And uh, this is. One